What's going on guys? Welcome back to SmartHelping.com. I've got a free tool here that I'll give you guys. It's in Google Sheets. Uh, it'll be in the link in the description box below. You just hit the link uh, and then go to, you'll see a page like this, but it'll say view only. You hit file, make a copy, and it's yours. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, so what it is, it's a it's a equity and a valuation matrix with built-in required internal rate of return calculations to show you kind of what price you can sell at at a given point in the future or if you've already held it you can see what your IR what your valuation has to be to based on how long you've held it in the purchase price to get some internal rate of return it's not taking into account free cash flow just um, from operations it's just assuming some value investment up front and then some exit value when you sell so uh, let's just go through it here so we've got a current financial summary you could put in revenue and uh, vacancy rate you get to gross rental in income based on 10% um, less that you've got other income here so you then that rolls into net re rent revenue then you've got your operating expenses and you got net operating income Net operating income is very important in real estate, uh, so that's why I showed the granulation, how you might get to it. And then this is our basis for the matrix, which we're putting in here as this, and then we're increasing it by this amount here, which you could put at whatever you want. It's just defining how much the net operating income is growing by on this uh, side of the matrix. Uh, now, based on the given net operating incomes and given cap rates, which the cap rate you define here and then increases by the amount put here. So I could put one here and you can see it grows five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could put 1.5 and it grows five, six, five, eight, nine, five, eleven. And uh, so this will calculate the valuations of the building given these different net operating incomes and these different cap rates. So you can see here at 29 million, that's saying if your net operating income is 3.2 million and the cap rate's 11%, the valuation is 29. And you can see that as a cap rate goes down, the valuations go up. And as the net operating income goes up, the valuations go up. So this will be the highest, this will be the lowest, and then L in between is the rest. So where this gets really cool is that um, we get a desired valuation. So the question is, well, how do you know what you want the value to be? Um, so it's going to be some basis on your price. So let's say you buy it, bought it for 18 million and you're holding it for four years and you want an internal rate of return 20%. Well, we, based on those three things, we can do a formula here. It's just basically one plus the rate raised to the time period held times the price. And that gets you the value you have to receive over that time well, at in the fourth year in order to get that rate of return. So there's your valuation, and it shows you basically here's the different net operating incomes you have to have and or along with the different cap rates, to, and it shows green in any valuation that is greater than um, the $37 million. So you can see these all would meet the criteria here, and everything in red would not. Uh, and to t and uh, let's say... Uh, so here's a, here's a good way to see it. So you can see you bought it for 18 million. Here's your one, two, three, and four. Your four, let's say, is this valuation. You do a simple IRR calc here. You just do IRR of this, um, negative 18 million. Then you get the, th the third three years. In the fourth year, you get the money. That's the internal return 20%. So you need to get three, 37 million. This is how you can get it. With these, um, if these are your different net operating incomes, these are... Um, the cap rates that fit so only like five all the the net operating incomes work at five percent six point five four of them work at eight percent cap two of them work in nine point five eleven it's too low of a price you you would want to sell at that low then we've got a, a helper matrix kind of and this just shows you the equity multiple so um based on your different operating incomes and cap rates defined here this is the multiple, uh, so the easiest way to think of equity multiple is a one would be, you get your money back, so one would be 18 million, and you can see the closest we got is 1.14, which would be the 20 million price, and you can see that's just the 20 million divided by the purchase price, 
And then the best would be the highest valuation, which is the highest net operating income with the lowest cap rate, and you've got 3.61 there. So you can also put in a desired equity multiple, and this will highlight red and green based on that. You can see if I change it, you see now almost all of them fit. If I put it like 1.75, if I put it like 3, only a couple fit. Uh, so it's just a nice little tool to play around with, um, some easy inputs and uh, sensitivities here. Uh, now you can see if I change this to three years, it's saying now, and let's say the desired interim return is, um, let's say 22%. Well now, I have to, to test it out, you can move this over to the third one, and you can see the IR here is now 22, which equals this. So that's the calculation, the, the long version of the calculation, and here's the result, the, the valuation. So it's just a smarter way to determine a desired valuation. You just throw that into um, a conditional format to test if these different net incomes and cap rates meet that valuation or not. And there you go. Uh, so I think uh, this is a really good tool to play around with if you're in real estate. Um, there's all kinds of different variations you can do and you can set it up all kinds of different ways, but this is a pretty um, common one here uh, so have at it and let me know if any suggestions on how you think it could be improved or changed I'd be happy to to make multiple tabs with different versions on it for you um, and then if you want to purchase I have paid models obviously at smarthelping.com you just go to the link here you can see I have all kinds of models um, here for different templates I've got uh, different industries. The latest one is a security, security monitoring service that has expansion um, revenues and negative churns, very uh, pretty highly advanced uh, product as a service, all kinds of uh, ATM, golf course, marketplace, pawn shop, lending as a service, gym fitness center, uh, web mobile app, that's probably one of the most popular ones, auto repair, jewelry, all kinds of models that are specific to those industries and have logic and and expenses specific to those industries. Um, I've also got uh, some three statement from my financial model builds. Well, this is the only one here, which can, this was a recent one that's been very popular since I built it. Uh, people like that one a lot. It's more of on the accounting end of it, end of things so. though. Um, inventory stuff. What else we got? Uh, now, for, as far as real estate specific, I do have um, some waterfall builds, some waterfall sensitivity builds um, for joint venture stuff. You probably would be interested in that if you're into real estate. But all kinds of stuff here, just check out smarthelping.com and see if you find anything you like. And I'm happy to give this build, this tool away for free. Um, so, enjoy it and again let me know if you have any uh suggestions or anything you think that can make this better i'm happy to continue working on it have a good one